Greetings and welcome to a new video. So guys here we have some great news if you are waiting for a jailbreak. So yes there is a chance of getting a jailbreak for all devices especially yes including the A12 and up devices. You can see on your screen we have this KFT which is out to public. You can use this method to get kernel read write on Apple devices and it is called KFT kernel file descriptor. We will see which iOS versions are supported in a second. You can check it out that it is out on its official GitHub page and developers can use it to make a jailbreak in the future. So if I scroll down, you can see we have two methods here. The first method is fixed in iOS 16.4 and the second one is fixed in 16.5.1. So, all in all, it will support all devices on iOS 16.5 and lower. As you can see it right here, we have this CVE. If you check it out, you can see that this has been fixed. Kernel and WebKit is fixed in iOS 16.5.1. As you can see it in the description, the developer tested it only on iPhone 14 Pro Max, but it will work on all devices with the proper offsets. Now guys, if you check out the info.h file, you can see that these are the versions it has been tested on. So it will include iOS 16.0 beta towards iOS 16.5.1, but it will work, as I said, from 16.5 down to 16.0. But guys, the problem is that you won't get a jailbreak right away using this. You can see this tweet out by OPA334. You can see that he says that yes, it is now possible to get kernel read write on iOS 16.5 and lower, but we will have to combine it with a PPL bypass to get a jailbreak. You can see this another tweet by OPA334. He says that yes, after a PPL bypass is found, it will be possible to get a jailbreak on iOS 16.5 and lower, but there will be a lot more work needed to get it working. But if you talk about the dopamine jailbreak, yes, now it will be possible to support iOS 15.2 and later, which will not require a PSC bypass. So theoretically, iOS 15 is also supported using this method that we have discussed earlier. Now guys, to my surprise, it has been tested and it works also on iOS 16.6 beta 1 and iOS 17 beta 1. It will not work on iOS 17 public beta. Now guys, towards the end of this video, let's talk about which versions are best to stay on right now. So iOS 16.5 or earlier is the best if you have an iOS 16 device and if you have an iOS 15 device, it is best to stay on iOS 15.7.6 or earlier. Now, talking about delaying OTA upgrade to iOS 16.5 or 16.4.1, yes, you can do it up to 19th of September for 16.5 and 16th of August for 16.4.1, but I will advise against doing it because if you mess up something, you will end up restoring your device to the latest version. So please stay where you are from 16.5 and lower. But if you want to still do it, I will attach a guide in the description, which will lead you to get the supervised mode without a jailbreak on all your devices. Then you can get this profile from here and then delay OTA if you want it. That's all for this jailbreak update guys. If I have anything more to share, I will definitely do it with you. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.